Welcome back, guys. We are making money. We're making decent money. Uh, I don't think we've had a negative fiscal year in a while, and I don't think we'll have one because of our new line, which is doing very, very well. Um, the production line, it, it doesn't look fantastic right now, but it is actually doing very, very well. And once, well, once the next train comes in, it'll make us 750,000. That train's going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. Uh, but anyway, uh, we, we, we're doing quite okay. We're doing quite okay. And I want to make us do a little bit better by hooking up the Los Angeles forest here to this uh, sawmill. So let's do that. Uh, we'll need to borrow some money. We have around five and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half million, seven point two million uh, to spend, and we will spend it uh, if we need to. So we want two hundred forty meters. Yeah, two hundred forty meters because we got the new uh, the new Baldwin. Uh, the better Baldwin than, than the six wheeler, and and uh, we will want to use utilize that s at some point. So the question is, can we somehow get through here and hook up to the forest? We can. Boom. All right. So I think we'll go this way around, and that way around, and up. So let's do that. Now, uh, in the last one, I was talking a bit about uh, the um, the uh, the the musical fruit tootin, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, because I, I think it makes sense that you use the um, existing mechanic that the signal triggers when a train is approaching, which I expect is what's going on. Or does the train signal, or does the, the train approaching trigger that the signal is going up? I don't know. That's a, a a programming mechanic uh, but no matter what i feel like that programming mechanic could be used for the waypoints to to make the the trains toot and 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 i think it would make sense to do that uh it Uh, because it's already in place in for uh, in place for the signals the signals probably trigger themselves right now when uh, when the train train is approaching the train uh, the signal triggers itself because there's something approaching on the rail and it should go up so why can't that mechanic be used to trigger the train to go toot uh, let me know if you have another view on, on it uh, or some insight into the programming mechanic of it. Because to me, it just seems obvious that that's the way it should work. And we shouldn't have to put uh, set every single line going past to go past a waypoint in order to toot its horn toot its horn. I, I like to, it to just okay we, we set up a waypoint here because there's a a, a road crossing so we'll set up a, a waypoint that you should toot your horn that makes sense in my mind in my mind that makes sense Uh, but maybe it doesn't make sense in anyone else's mind, and, and if it doesn't, then 
Let me know. I'd love to to know why. I'd love to know why it doesn't make sense if it doesn't. Well, this has to be pretty. Right, you know what? We are going to pull this back. Like that. And then we'll do this. So, rail. We need to come out this way. I'm okay with a hundred. Yeah, I'm okay with a hundred. Let's do a hundred and two because on the inside here it won't be as nice. Why is that construction not possible? It should be possible. Okay. Is this not level? Looks level. Right, let's um, let's try something like this. Not possible. Okay. Hmm. Weird. All right, let's try it again. And we'll maybe make it a little bit. Let's try a hundred and ten. Say no, you won't do it. You will not do it. Okay, why the hell not? What's wrong with you? do it there is something wrong here yeah it's not level it is not level let's pull this back a bit All right you come in there Come in there, there, and then you come out this way at a hundred and actually, uh, we need to make a little junction in here first. I think like that, and then we can come off. Right here at a hundred. And will this work? Yes, it will. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Let's keep it at around a hundred on the inside. And then we can do that. And that'll work out nicely. Okay. Signals. Uh, one way, yes. Signal there. Signal there. Signal there. Signal there. And a signal there and there. Okay. That should work. And then down here we'll have way back here okay we'll have a signal we'll have a signal i think that'll be fine we can put in a couple of signals more just to be on the safe side <laughs> They actually do cost money in maintenance, the signals, and, and they're not exactly cheap. It's like 
20 or 25 or something that they cost in maintenance. So every single signal you place down costs you money. Every single time there's a an expense tick. All right, uh, lines. Uh, uh, well, actually not those lines, Lo those lines. Uh, we want uh, uh, cargo, road production tools. Yeah, that's the one we want. And after Providence, we'll go to there. Then we'll go back to Providence. And then we'll head down. And that'll work fine. Okay. Where do we have these trains right now? We have one coming up there. We have one coming down there. And we have one down here coming up. So I think it is okay to clone one of them right now. Boom. And let the date pass. All right. Things are closing. And let's uh, repay as much as we can. Four million. That's okay. Uh, now, what is our rate on this line now? Cargo, rail, production tools, province. Uh, or yeah, Provo. No, Provo. Eighty-one. It needs to be. Well, that's actually okay. Though no, it, it's actually not. It needs to be higher. It needs to be higher. So you're sitting here with 14. What's wrong? Train 17 is having a problem. Uh, let's turn you around. Well, now there are two trains having a problem. Well, hopefully this will work out anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. So you're coming down here with planks, which you shouldn't be. But okay, fine. Don't know why you didn't drop off your planks there, but you didn't. And uh, peace be with it. This is a tool production thing. So wow, look at that. Uh, I think I want to borrow some money and clone one of these trains again. Manage vehicle. Clone. Now we have five trains on that. And we can still repay a million. Okay. We're, we've loaned two million now. These will spread out eventually. You are over here somewhere now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. This screwed things up a bit, but it's fine. It'll uh, it'll sort itself out. It'll sort itself out. Someday. 
But where are you going now, Providence? Okay, that's up there. And you are going to Providence with a few logs. This will sort itself out eventually. You're sitting here waiting for some planks. You're coming down empty. Which is okay because you're brand new. You're our 20th train. You're coming up full. You're coming up weird. No, full. Okay. That's good. We have something weird going on with this line right now. Uh, production tools. Providence. It looks like we have something weird going on. So we're going Spokane to Providence to Los Angeles to Providence to Provo and then back to Spokane. So it should be fine. It should be fine. All right. I guess it's just a little hiccup. I guess it's just a little hiccup. And you have some logs sitting there now. It good. I did put, yep. Yeah, I did put signals in there. There. What's the rate now on this thing? 105. That's fine. That's fine. But we did make money last fiscal thingy. Because we spent 6.5, we made a loss of 5.3, so that means we made 1.2 million. But that's okay. That's okay. And soon we'll be delivering tools over to Providence as well, because Providence wants tools too. And you now want 77, which is great. Let's have a quick look at San Antonio. You want 130 fuel now. Are we even producing that? I don't think so. No, we have a rate of 95, so we could put another train on that as well. How about New York? We want 83 now. And delivery, New York. We have a rate of 91, so we could put another train on that as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are a bit all over the map, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're making money, and that is what matters right now. Then later, we will worry about meshing all our little individual businesses together and making something grand and impressive. That is the envy of the world, hopefully. Okay, we lost a little bit of money there. We did lose a little bit of money there. Not a little bit, a quarter of a million. That's not a little bit of money to, by my standards, but by this game standard, it's, it's kind of acceptable once in a while. It's kind of acceptable once in a while. All right, so you are coming up with 24 and two planks. Why are you okay? Uh, I know what's going on. Um, plan manager, this one. So, the first time we arrive at Providence, you cannot load any 
Well, you can load and re unload everything, but you cannot load anything. So Spokane to Providence. Uh, so this is the first time. In Providence, you're next going to Los Angeles, so don't load anything. Then you're going to Los Angeles. Then you're going to Providence, and then... That's fine. In Providence, all you do is... Unload... Logs... And pick up planks. And the same for the first time, really. You unload logs. You know what? I'm not going to tell it that. I'm going to do that so that hopefully it fixes itself. Okay, you. What do you have on board? 35... One. Why do you have a plank over there? That's something you really need to keep an eye on. What is a plank doing over there? Who asked for a plank in the logging camp? I don't understand. There's absolutely no reason to haul that over there. Well, we have 63 planks coming down there. We have 63 planks coming down there, right on each other's butts, which I don't necessarily like. Uh, we have 46 planks coming down there. They're very close together, aren't they? I mean, that's three out of our five trains in this little area. Not sure I appreciate that. Where's number four and five? There's one. There's and there's one. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's repay some money. We'll see if it won't get better. All right, that's you we have here. How much do you make for 46 planks? $455,000. That's acceptable. And this should give you a full load so that you can go. Wow, we actually have a lot of planks sitting here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, autosave. All right. Um, yeah, we're making money. We're making money. So I think, I mean, we had a ride on this train last time. I don't, have we had a ride on our passenger trains? And now the game is crashing, so I'll be right back. Right, so uh, where was I? We were we were going to take a train ride because we haven't ridden this train, I think. I don't think we've had a ride on these trains. So in we come, pick up some fuel. And we got a full load outstanding and off we go and I think it's okay to ride at max speed on these slower trains look at the landscape it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful look at the pretty train well it's not so pretty anymore this journal looks a little bit beat up This general looks a little bit beat up. But it's still a pretty train. Ow! My, my cat is biting my hand. 
Alright, so... Ooh, this is rough. Did we go up this? I think maybe we went up this? But it's a busy line, there's... Passenger vehicles when we get up here as well, up to the other end. And look at the view! Look at that view! Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. And there's one of our sister trains. How beautiful is this game? Seriously. Look, just look at this. It's amazing. Oh yeah. A lot of crude sitting there waiting for a train to come pick it up. And off we go. Here comes Sacramento, I believe it is. Yeah, it is Sacramento. Sacramento, right? Oh, a little bit too fast to read. But I think it's Sacramento. It is Sacramento. And on we go. Another train and another train. Man, I love riding trains in this game. It's just amazing. And up to the fuel refinery. We're just passing straight through it because we don't need to drop fuel off at the oil refinery, which it is. Not the fuel. Oh, there's one of the passenger trains. Hey, passengers. And there's another oil train. Well, it's coming down with crude. It's coming down with crude. And in we come to San Antonio. Ooh, this is rough. But in we go. And drop all the fuel off and then we'll continue along oh on to the main tracks man i really love this game i really really love this game just look at it It is so pretty. Oh. Passenger train. Hey, passengers. And there's another oil train coming down with crude. And we switch off here. Instead of going up to Grand Prairie over the bridge, we come in this way. And head in to get some crude, which is sitting there waiting for us. We can actually see it from a distance. This game is so awesome. Whoa, that was a that was a hill. We went flying there. Alrighty, and that's the length of the tracks for this one. Nice. Right, how are we looking? We can pay back some money. More money. Alright. Always pay back your loans, guys. Interest will kill you. That goes... I guess both in real life and in the game. To some extent, anyway. But yeah, we're doing pretty okay the only big loser is the passenger train the passenger train do just does not make money it just does not make money and i even upped it from two cars to three cars and we're running pretty much full i mean four fifths full and and we're not even making money we're not even making money i 
I don't know how to make money on, off passengers uh, on very hard, I don't think. Well, we could pay off some, but now we can't. But money is flowing. Money is a flowing. And next time, I think we'll add a little line over to Providence to drop off some tools. It'll reduce profitability of our tool line maybe but it'll get providence growing which we want it to and jackson now wants 78 tools and it's getting 50 so yeah jackson is growing kind of no oh, now we're up to 70. so yeah I, I think we're, we're we're doing pretty okay. We're doing pretty okay, and we can repay a couple uh, a million there. Well, not bad. And then once we have Providence hooked up, we might put a train line, passenger train line in between those two. We might even get the tools going going over to Detroit as well, and get passenger line going between those three and that would be an obvious line to maybe hook up over here to san antonio and that passenger line that could be a pretty cool thing to do but we'll have to see we'll have to see because things change maybe some new great opportunity shows up we don't know, and that is what I really love about this new uh, spring update. That is really one of the really big things that industries come and go. You have to use them if you want to keep them around. If you don't use them, they'll go away and something else will pop up that you might not need. And I think that is really, really cool. And, and it makes sense, right? I mean, if, if you're... If, if you're, I mean, you, you have this iron mine here. If no one is buying the iron, then it'll shut down because it won't be making money. It makes sense. So yeah, uh, thank you so very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.